Okay, I've got a Teenage Engineering OPZ and I quite fancy one of their OP1s. Uh, one of the things I like about the OP1 is that it has a built-in uh, tape recorder, a virtual tape recorder, something that the OPZ doesn't have. So I thought, well, perhaps I can set one up in Reason and sync the two devices together. And uh, anyway, it turns out that I can and I have, and I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you're going to want to do in Reason is to uh, go to File, New from Template, and select 16 track tape recorder. Uh, set yourself up a new song. I've already done that and I've trimmed it up a bit. I've taken some of the tracks out, only left myself with nine. Now I've relabeled the first eight tracks to reflect the tracks on the OPZ. So track one is bass drum, track two is snare drum, three hi hats, four sample. Um, five bass, six lead, seven arpeggio, eight chords, and the ninth track I've labelled OPZ Master, and you'll see why a little bit later on. It's very important that you set the OPZ so that it's not going to be charging uh, via this USB cable, because if you don't, you'll have a horrible whine, and you set it by holding the screen in at the back and pressing the top white key, this E key. Okay, so now, uh, we won't get that whining coming through and of course that whining gets recorded as well so make sure you do that. Now on Reason make sure the tracks are set uh, as stereo tracks so this one this bass drum track stereo input quad capture that's my audio interface or so whatever your audio interface is will be reflected there so I'm good to go two tracks you can see that's my voice coming in I'm gonna to have to turn my mic off when I do recording but you can see something's coming in if I Stop talking, just play my uh, first track here. So the bass drum's coming through there, that's fine. Now in Reason Preferences, make sure that uh, in the sync page, this page here, uh, that you've got input as OPZ. All right, very important that. And also down here in sync mode at the bottom of the page, uh, it's set to internal by default, of course. Click that, set it to MIDI clock, and now you'll see that the tempo has gone down to naught uh, because um, it's waiting for the clock from the OPZ. So uh, you'll know you're good to go if you've done that. So you actually can't set the tempo on reason, of course, because if I hold in the metronome button and I look at the app for the OPZ, and I've got this linked up to it via Bluetooth, you can see it's set on 120. Of course, you can set that to whatever you want on the OPZ. Now, as soon as I start playing the OPZ, Reason resets to uh, the beginning of the track. If you want to reset it yourself manually, of course you can. At this point, it's probably a great idea to save your Reason song. I've saved mine as OPZ tape recorder so that you can reuse it time and time again, sort of a, as a template, as it were. The other very important thing is to make sure Reason is not in loop mode. So make sure down here that this is uh, not selected. Make sure the loop is off, okay? So that the sequencer can run freely. Now the OPZ by default should send MIDI clock. But just to check it, if you hold the track button down and hold the module button down, which is this uh, one here with the C, okay, and then press Shift, You'll see five is lit, black button five is lit. If that's lit, it's sending MIDI clock. It should do that anyway, but in case you're not getting any MIDI clock coming out of your OPZ, then that might be the reason why. There are other black buttons lit, but you don't have to worry about those here. So that's all good. Now the best way to do this is to set up mute groups on the OPZ. So if I hold the mix button down, at the back of the instrument here, and I press uh, black button one, you see that's bass drum, two is snare drum, three hi-hats, four sample, five bass, six is set for the lead sound, seven the arpeggio, and eight the chords, and in fact naught is everything, so that's the whole track. So that's a really good way of soloing, there's no solo function on the OPs there, so you can do it uh, by setting up these mute groups. If I go to mute group one, that's just my bass drum, that's what I'm going to record first. Obviously, the idea here, is, of course, is to record the tracks in separately to Reason, one at a time. Then you can mix them. You can add all the Reason um, effects, reverb and delays, all the wonderful things. 
uh, you can EQ it, master it, uh, all the things that you can't do, of course, on the OPZ. You can do rudimentary mixing, but you can't do anything like that you can in Reason. So we're going to record these tracks in one at a time now. I couldn't find a way of putting Reason in record ready mode when it's being synced to the OPZ. So what I do is I let the OPZ run for a while and then I uh, put Reason into record. So basically, if you've got a pattern uh, on your OPZ like I have here, track in this pattern it runs for four bars so what I do on Reason I wait until Reason has reached uh, nearly bar five just a bit back from that let's just take the snap off a bit so when Reason gets to about here I put it into record press record button I'll have a few raggedy beginnings but I can trim those up later so basically you can put Reason in record any time uh, from bar one to the end of bar four just before bar five starts and then you won't miss anything. So in a moment, I'm going to turn my microphone off so that I don't record me talking alongside these recordings. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through and I'm going to uh, record each track separately. Remember to take the track you've just recorded out of record. And then at the end of it, I'm going to record this master track down here, um, which is obviously going to be all the tracks. And that might be useful just as a, a general master of the track. Uh, so I'm going to turn the microphone off now so that I don't record my voice along with this and you'll see on the screen and you'll hear what I'm doing. I'm going to probably fast forward a few bits here so it doesn't get too boring for you.
done and now if I put reason back into uh, internal clock mode I'm going to uh, mute the master track you probably notice a bit of phasing as I recorded that as it was run, trying to run along with those eight tracks already recording you get that kind of smearing phasing effect so we'll mute this master track now we should have the eight tracks recorded in reason there'll be a bit of a raggedy start here um, so there are all the tracks So that's great, isn't it? So the, obviously now you could uh, remix it in Reason. You could add all the lovely Reason effects. You could add other sounds to it by playing stuff into Reason. It's a, a pretty mouth-watering prospect, isn't it? Um, if we scroll back to the beginning of this, uh, you'll see that we've got a few raggedy ends to clear up. So the best thing to do here is to uh, select the razor tool our snap is on bar, so if I just make a little cut at the beginning of bar 5 of all the tracks, it's probably a way of doing them all in one go, but I don't know what it is for the moment. I'm now going to use the mute tool, and I'm going to just mute these uh, unwanted beginnings. And once I've done this, and I play the uh, song from uh, bar 5 onwards, I've got a lovely clean start, haven't I? It's perfectly in sync. So you now have your tape recorder of your OPZ. Now you might think, is it worth just getting rid of those beginnings and dragging the whole lot to the beginning? I would advise against that in case you decide to add more stuff on the OPZ, record another track or another pattern and you know, record that into this. Um, there's so many things you can do and of course you've got your master track there. Just remember to mute it. Like I say, you'll get that phasing. Anyway, I hope that works for you. Of course, you could probably do the same thing in Logic or DP or Cubase or any of the, those other doors. Reason happens to be my uh, uh, door of choice. Uh, I used to use Logic the whole time. I changed to uh, Reason, or well, Record as it was, about 10 years ago. And I uh, haven't looked back. I really love it. And they do go together pretty well, don't they? So a bit of a complicated process, but once you've got it sorted out, of course, it's dead easy. Save your song as a template. And any time you want to have a, a tape recorder, a virtual tape recorder for your OPZ, uh, you'll have one in reason. So I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching and you'll see me in my next video.